Alex, uh, I suppose a big move to leave New Zealand to come to Queensland. Like the most basic question, why was the drive to come to Queensland and what do you like about the place? Uh, I think it was just opportunity. Um, I wanted to experience a different sort of footy and obviously a different lifestyle. Having been at uh, the Blues for a long time, it was, uh, it was time for change. And for me uh, and my family, it's, uh, it's been a massive opportunity for us. And to be honest, we're loving the day. The weather is amazing here and the people are even better. So, yeah. You're coming from, I guess, arguably the pioneers of how to make rugby successful over in New Zealand to now come to Australian rugby where it is in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Was it a tough decision for you to make that jump or was it a pretty straightforward one for you? Oh, straightforward. Um, any, any, any club you go to, there's always something different that you can learn. And for me, it's just about being as open as I can. I don't want to be um, too closed off to like what I've known in the past because I feel like then I'll stagnate as a player. And for me, I just want to keep growing and keep learning. And I think with Les and his team, like, man, they've, they've, I've learned so much already. So, yeah. yeah I suppose there's um, quite a proven uh, path to Japan and to Europe and different things. Well, uh, I guess you had other options as well. Why did you particularly choose Queensland ahead of maybe, um, maybe you can reveal it. Do you have a Japanese offer to think about as well? Uh, I don't want to go too far. Like, um, How about a little bit? <laughs> no, oh, like, I don't want to like leave the southern hemisphere in okay. a sense. Yeah, I wanted to um, stay local. My brother lives here, and he's been here for about five years. And uh, for me, it was I was trying to get my family together, and uh, that looked like having my mum and dad move over, and uh, obviously my wife and three kids, and my brother and his two kids. So I just wanted to create a really good base and location, and um, yeah, hopefully one day retire here. So. I suppose as well with part of I guess what's made Australian clubs struggle against the New Zealand clubs has been strength of the scrum, strength of the ruck, that sort of stuff. What I guess will you add to a team to sort of help alleviate that and what is it that Australian rugby's missed that's made these New Zealand clubs so dominant against us here? I think it's hard to say because I've come into a whole new coaching staff, a whole new look, a whole new facility and everything's so different and what I've seen is um, man it's got all the tools we need to build this place. So for me, it's just adding what I've learned from New Zealand, take the good from there and add it to this environment. And what I've seen and what Les and his team have brought, it's been nothing but great. So yeah, it's actually not too different. So yeah, yeah. So what is it about the New Zealand rugby that got it so right for so many years that has made them so strong there that we're not trying to play a bit of catch up with? Hmm. To be honest, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, like um, like I said, it's just, I, I focus more on myself a lot and what I can bring to the environment. Because as soon as I start comparing and as soon as I start sort of like, oh, but we do it this way or they do it this way. And then you actually miss out on the opportunity that's in front of you. So for me, it's just like, how's this moment and how can I impact this moment? And how can I grow the guys around me as well as myself? So that's kind of been my approach to coming over to Australian footy. And, and I guess Les has spoken about really wanting to play an expansive attacking brand of footy as well. Has he spoken to you about what that means for the forwards? Will it change, be a completely new style for you as well? Uh, we're fit, man. Like, uh, we've, been, we've been getting put through the burners and um, I think uh, our team, like, we just did all our skinnies and everyone's like smashing it out the park. And I think what's amazing is um, when we turn up to training each day, like, Guys are really going for it. And like just looking at our front row, we have like awesome guys that have come from like international and they've come in really good neck, like Zane and you know, Fez and all those guys, you know, they it's um for me it's like I gotta compete and I wanna compete and I wanna keep challenging and I wanna like keep pushing those guys because they're pushing me. So yeah. So when you uh, played your, te your debut test against Australia in twenty twenty. Yeah. What were the Kiwi coaches saying to you about playing Australia's forwards? Did they say these are a bunch of soft pussies like we just got to <laughs> dominate them in the forwards? What, what sort of tone were they taking about dominating the Australian forwards? The message that I got told a lot was just be yourself. Um, as soon as you start thinking about other players, you forget about what's great about yourself. So for me, it's just 
reinforcing the player that I am and why they chose me and choose to be, oh, you know, and like choose to grow off that rather than getting so caught up in, oh, Alan's a great scrummager or like those things. Let's just focus on what is Alex great at and then focus on that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're up against Alatar, weren't you, really? In that yes, test? yeah. So what, what are you, what do you consider your strengths, uh, Alex? I think uh, mobility. Um, I love to ball play. I love to carry, I love the ruck, so uh, a lot of people don't realise how physical the ruck actually is, eh? so um, yeah, but like anything man, I just want to play, I just want to play for the Reds and I just want to get the jersey on and do my thing, sort of, yeah. Ball playing through the middle is something that you consider a strength of yours, I imagine that sort of plays perfectly into the brand that Les really wants to create here? Yeah, well, we're physical, so we're a very physical team and, and uh, they're very upfront about that and yeah, that's it. I guess you said that you know everyone's really fit at the moment for yourself moving over here. How'd you go with acclimatizing to completely new conditions here and trying to get fit in a yeah. good 20 odd degrees hotter than what you'd be used to? Oh, well, I'm sweating right now, man. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like but underneath is very sweaty. So, but um, no, nah, it's, it's cool because it adds another mental barrier that I haven't had or experienced in New Zealand. Like in NZ, like you just train, you train hard and then it's raining. But, and then, but here it's, it's like a different mental toughness where your lungs are burning constantly and and uh, for me that's sorry that's been a it's been a good challenge and I've just for me it's um, take a step back take a breath and go at it and uh, keep going at it each day so you had a bit of an injury uh, before Christmas how's that come up uh, yes so my shoulder my left shoulder's going good uh, I, it was actually a very big injury so for me it's just oh. So I'll start again. The, the Reds physio team, they're amazing. Like, um, they really helped nurse me back into, you know, back into playing, so. And um, for myself, I was, I was, there was a bit of doubt there, just because I was, you know, out for so long, and uh, a bit worried. But then they've given me the confidence and belief to be like, hey, we're gonna look after you, we're gonna get you through, and then you're gonna come back firing, so, mm -hmm. yeah. It's so all on track for trials and everything like that? This yeah, stage? we're good to go, so we're boring. good to go, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, did, uh, did your manager sound out Super Rugby teams to, to find your next location? Or uh, did you have a strong input into that? Or how did it, how did it work that you actually uh, found the Reds? I think um, I kind of just threw it out there. Yeah, just threw it out there. Once I got injured, just threw it out there and be like, at least get a change of scenery. and. To be honest, I was hoping Queensland would come come my way, and when they did, I was stoked. Day so um, for me, it's I'm, I'm extremely blessed. I'm I'm actually really happy I'm here, and I think that all kind of tied in with my brother being here and mum and dad wanting to move over, and yeah, I think things have just fallen into place, and now I just got to play my part. So, mm -hmm. is have you got a struck up an instant uh, connection with uh, Jeffrey being here from the same uh, background? Yeah, he's oh, he's tracking up a lot of connections. Oh, Jeff, eh? he's um, he's also and he's really good value. Um, he's full of energy, and but what's awesome is he brings a lot of experience, and uh, it's cool because I back at the Blues, I was I was quite a talker, and it's actually like nice to listen to um, you know other people talk, and that's kind of been my goal here is just observe and listen, and then talk when I need to, rather than overplaying my cards and then ah oh, this guy's talking way too much, but. He's, um, it's cool because we're quite similar having played super, um, got a family, kids, so yeah, it's, we've had some really good conversations already, so. Christy? Yeah, thanks Pete. Uh, g'day Alex. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about, I know you said you don't want to compare, compare the two environments too much, but from a, like a practical sense, do you, do you end, like, is there much difference in a pre-season between the Kiwis and the, and the Aussies? Is it more running? Is it more work at, with the skill sets? Um, yeah, w tell us a little bit about that kind of difference. Yeah. Uh, so, so for me, it's, man, any pre-season is hard. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you go. Like, the, uh, they always have targets they want to hit or they want you to get to this sort of level. But the um, what I've really enjoyed is that uh, Les and the staff they've really like taken a key to rugby and rugby's been the real focus and primary goal so 
breath and just hit the field and go. It's, uh, we've had a real fine balance and um, I think that's, that's helped us a lot as a group bond and connect and find the little kinks and figure them out. So. Yeah, nice. And, uh, you, you, you will be eligible um, through, through your dad, I think that, that is. Um, where, where was he born? And, you know, pulling on the gold jersey, could you, could you ever have kind of potentially dreamed of it, that it would be a possibility? Um, and is it something that you actually want to do, like get back and play international rugby again? Uh, so my dad, he's born in Melbourne, I believe. So, yeah, so... That's, um, he's, he's actually Australian Fijian and my mum's full Samoan so got a bit of a good mix there and uh, for me it's like if I actually experienced this before with the All Blacks is when I was trying too hard to try and become an All Black then I started doing things that were out of character so for me it's what I want to do is just be a great Reds man and then from there Whatever opportunities comes my way is what I'll take. But for, for me at the moment, it's how can I get on the field? How can I compete with the guys around me? And uh, how can I put my best fo forward here? So, And whatever comes from that, comes from that. Did your dad support the Wallabies or Fiji? <laughs> he's, um, oh, he's, he's all over the show, really. Eh? Like When we watch the games, we don't know who we're going for, really. So we just uh, It's actually nice to just be a spectator and just enjoy it. Um, yeah, we're definitely rooting for Fiji at the World Cup. That was that was so cool to see. But yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you. Uh, hopefully, you didn't tell it, too many of your new teammates that one. Um, <laughs> it was Peter oh, there's a lot of Fijians here, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> doing my back. From our perspective, um, is it is it fair to say though that you're open to the prospect if your form and and your health warrant it that that you could actually make that switch though? Uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I don't see why not. I'm, I'm always trying to challenge myself. I'm always trying to become a better version of myself. And if that happens to come my way, then I'll take it. But as I said, uh, man, I got to compete for this red jersey first. There's a lot of good front rollers, and uh, we've got a lot of experience here. So for me, it's I got I got to I got to put my best foot forward here first. Yeah, yeah, and there's quite a few good young props there. Um, one yep. of which is Massimo. Yeah. Um, what have you made of him in the, you know, the first few months of knowing him? <laughs> that, guy's, um, that guy's a beast, man. He's like the Hulk, eh? His, uh, his numbers in the gym are crazy. and I, I did a few scrums with him the other day, and he's just constant pressure. And it's, uh, he's, he's a, I couldn't believe he was so young, like in his early 20s. And when he told me that, I was like, man, surely this guy's 30 or something. So he's got that old man strength already. So I think he's got... Oh, he's got a great future. So he's got a lot of the foundations, right? And uh, I guess for him, it's just getting the uh, the field the field right and just trying to play at Super Rugby, which is obviously another big step. So. And just last one from me, mate. There's been a fair bit of talk over the last year or two around um, the strength of Super Rugby, the strength of Australia's teams. Should there be a, a draft to try to encourage? You know, maybe New Zealanders to play in Australia or, or New Zealanders to be still eligible to play for the All Blacks if they're playing in Australia. Have you, have you got a perspective on, on, you know, yourself and Jeffrey being there, Asu's over at the force? Have you got a perspective on whether or not you think it's a good thing that, that more Kiwis are playing in Australia at the moment? I think ideally you'd want to grow the game here first. Um, there's a lot of talent. Uh, so what's awesome is that we're getting the academy guys from the Reds and they're actually joining our training sessions and there's a lot of potential here so I think ideally you'll want to look at your home first but then I don't, I don't understand why people are always saying like oh New Zealand teams are this and that but man like when you verse Aussie teams it's going to be tough and it's always tough so uh, yeah like even though sometimes the scoreboard doesn't dictate it the, the battles you have up front with the, like the Aussie teams they're tough man so and I think each year it's yeah, any super any super game's tough, man. So yeah, does that answer your question? It, it certainly does. Thanks, yeah. Alex. Appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much.